Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. There had been some good reports in a clear weather window, so it was time to go work up fishing. We were fishing in a Mac 420, kindly loaned by Mac Boats, and I was tagging along with Matthew Hewitson from Fishing in God's Own magazine. Heading down the Tamaki Strait, the sun and sea were nothing short of glorious. We hit the back of Waiheke in time to find Kahawai smashing baitfish and gannets hot on their tails and patches around the firth. We found a current line and decided to try our feet first instead of charging off after every diving bird as there had been some sporadic bird and surface activity in the general area. Small snapper quickly showed up and after a couple of drops some heavier fish grabbed lures near the bottom. Some beautifully conditioned fat kahawai had ambushed our lures and after a good scrap and a careful release, we were back down again. More heavy fish pounced on our lures. Matt and I were convinced we were in the thick of a kahawai school as we had both hooked up on solid fish like the drop before. That was until a fat red snapper appeared right beside the boat. We had picked up a pair of nice conditioned fish straight after the kahawai had passed through. Matt's fish had smashed a Berkeley slow-mo jig and I had success on my Hayabusa slow fall jig from GoFish. We were feeling pretty good with dinner in the bag so drifted again through the same area and yep, got the same results. We were getting double hookups on pretty much every drift. It was just one of those awesome days where every duck and gannet lined up. Great weather, great fishing. The interesting thing was that although there were birds working in small areas around us, the fish were concentrated in a particular part of the current. Food scraps may have been drifting down that part of the coast, but it wasn't strictly under workups. It had been a while since Matt and I had encountered non-stop fishing with fish of this kind of quality and there were some real beauties amongst the 40 plus centimetre fish that we were scooping up. Things were dying down a little, so we moved further out into the firth amongst the other boats and birds. Matt hooked another kahawai and a feisty little gurnard, but the action wasn't frantic like earlier in the morning. We saw more action and chased a few workups, but the bottom fishing had died out. We had plenty of fish for friends and family and started to head home. Big thanks to Mac Boats for our fishing platform for the day. Quiet and comfortable, and the Honda 4-stroke used less than 30 litres of fuel. Pretty good for the long distance we covered. This is Scott from Digital Fish with Content That Catches.